Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having a great day. Anthony Alfredo here bringing you a new vlog. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but it's near the end of the semester. I had my last day of class yesterday, and I have finals coming up next week. My first one is actually this weekend from 3 to 6. It's my physics one. It's arguably going to be one of my hardest ones, but oh well. I'll be ready for it when the time comes. I want to thank you all for the support recently on the new announcement, which I know all of you have probably caught up on. I have signed with Richard Childress Racing to compete in the NASCAR Xfinity Series next year. Just saying that gives me goosebumps. It's absolutely unreal. I'm so blessed. I'm so fortunate to be in the position I am, and I'm so thankful for all of you for supporting me, all the positive feedback on, obviously, all the news this week. Um, leading up to this has been surreal. Um, just getting this, the details worked out were many sleepless nights because of the excitement and all the work that went into it. And obviously since the announcement two days ago, I haven't slept at all because every day I wake up now, it's like going to bed knowing I'm going to wake up in the morning and go to my dream job. It's absolutely amazing. I don't even know how to describe it. So every morning I wake up, I'm just so thankful and I'm ready to head to the shop and I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. Today we're going to be getting fitted in one of the seats in the cars, um, getting a few things worked out on that end, uh, do some behind the scenes stuff. I've got some physics homework due tonight and it's the last day to submit it because it's an online class. So I got to get home and do that and then I got to run and do a radio interview tonight at 7. That's kind of far away and then the shop's actually pretty far away from my apartment. It's a little over an hour. So we're going to head that way now and then while we're over there I'll introduce you to everybody at Team Dillon Management. Uh, so you can meet all of them. We'll be working, filming a lot of stuff with this year, which will be really fun as well. Okay, so that was a close one. I forgot that I had to fill up with gas this morning, so I was about 50 minutes away and the needle was getting closer and closer to E, and then it was finally bottomed out on E, and it stopped telling me how far I could make it. It just said fuel range low. So fortunately, I found a place to stop out here. I'm about five minutes from the shop, but there's not many places to stop out here, so I got nervous. All right, wow, that was a close one because I'm pretty sure my truck has a 25 gallon tank, and it took 24 and a half gallons. Maybe it has a 26 gallon tank, because I mean, if I had half a gallon left, that's that's insane. That, if I shut this thing off, I might not have been able to turn it back on. Dang it, I forgot to turn the mic on. First time I did that all day, I was on a roll for a while there. Um, but I got some cool B-roll footage in the shop of the race cars and, and some really sweet stuff in the offices. So hope you all enjoyed that. Just drove up the road to grab lunch real quick. Now I'm heading back. Uh, I'll be at TDM in a little bit and I'll show you guys around there, but my camera battery is about to die. So I'll have to probably let it charge first. Um, then try to get some homework done there actually uh, before I head to this radio interview tonight, just so I have it knocked out of the way. Also, I know you guys know that I was training at that facility near my apartment. Well, now I'm going to start training at RCR because they have an amazing gym and a trainer there for the pit crew and everything. So I'll be over there, which I'm really excited about as well. It's going to be really fun and super amazing opportunity there. So I sat in the cars. We were getting the seats mounted and the pedals where I'd like them. Uh, we'll move the steering wheel and all that stuff later after I get a seat mold poured, but we're getting ready to do that on probably Tuesday or Wednesday next week because the car has to go to the wind tunnel on Monday, but it's so awesome to see everything in the works and getting the ball rolling on everything, um, and we have quite a little, quite a bit of time to our first race, but it's so awesome to already be working hard and getting stuff ready. Uh, I'm getting super excited. I can't wait. I, I am so excited to strap into that car for the first time and be able to compete for RCR racing, but even just to be there 
each and every day is a blessing and walking in there is surreal. It's, I don't think this whole thing has hit me yet. It's been so incredible. And like I said, it's honestly just surreal. It's really humbling, honestly, to have an opportunity like this arise and to be able to sign and now have the opportunity to take full advantage of it is so cool and something I'm really pumped about. All right, so I just got checked into Team Dylan Management. Going to work on some really cool stuff, work on a ton of marketing, exciting social media things, and obviously all the streaming content putting out for you guys. It's going to be uh, all new this year that I'm really looking forward to. After this, I got to head home. I got to finish that physics homework. This is the last night to submit all the online work, and then I'll be uh, on my way to the radio show tonight. Uh, I think that's at 7, but I got to be there a little bit early, and it'll probably be an hour. So after that, we'll be all good and call it a day. <laughs> Say hi, Mr. Dillon. <laughs> Is it a photo bomb or a video bomb? A when you it's a video bomb. <laughs> walking through this museum that really puts everything into perspective and even just walking through the shop is is such an amazing feeling you get being in the museum and learning about the history and people like Dale Earnhardt who won so many races and obviously are icons in the sport and we're a part of this race team added their name to the history books and now to add my name to the list of drivers that are a part of this team is absolutely incredible and so a surreal opportunity this definitely puts it in perspective and is what makes this so insane and just hard to fathom almost. Seeing old pictures and historical moments on TV is super cool, but seeing the actual race cars that won all these races and championships is even cooler, especially the ones driven by Dale Earnhardt. be a part of such an iconic organization that helped build the sport of NASCAR that we all love and that's you know I found my passion in is truly just a blessing and to be walking through here like I said really puts it into perspective and I'm just feeling so grateful right now it's so cool to walk through here I'm definitely gonna make it a point to stop in the museum and come through here multiple times this year and, and look at all the race cars all the race winning cars Daytona 500 winning cars championship cars and so many different things that not only inspire and motivate me, but just help remind me how fortunate I am.
Alright everyone, so I just got back from the shop. It's a longer commute now. Instead of like 15 minutes to Mooresville, I'm going all the way to Lexington. So it's about an hour and five minutes from my apartment. But it's no big deal. I like the drive. Obviously, I love what I'm doing, so I can't complain. I'm sitting here at the setup. i got to get some of my physics homework done, as I've mentioned pretty much all day, because I've been thinking about it. I've been stressing. Um, but i not got to knock this out. I could probably only get um, a third of it done before i got to head to this radio interview all the way in Statesville, and then I'll finish the rest tonight. But I wanted to show you guys uh, my updated setup. So I actually got a boom for my Blue Yeti mic now. Uh, I got a halo light, which really helps uh, with the lighting. makes it look really nice. And then, obviously... Uh, dual monitors uh, and my iBuy power computer which is super sick because you could do like a million different combinations with all the lights also I waited like four months to get a second monitor and I was using one of my really tiny ones because I've never had monitors this big and they're super nice they're super clear they're 144 gigahertz so um, obviously I wanted to get two of them because I had one that was super nice and my old one was super cheap and small um, but I waited like four months until Black Friday so I can get it on sale. Fortunately, it did actually go on sale on Amazon, so I saved about $80 on it, which I was hyped. But these ASUS, ASUS monitors are awesome. These are the 27-inch. They're called the ASUS VG278Q gaming monitors. Uh, I love them, so I'm really happy about that. But let me know if you'd like to see a more in-depth um, review or kind of setup tour, if you will. Um, if you'd like to see a setup tour of, of this office setup I have here, um, and the sim, sim rig. I haven't really done a detailed view of that. Uh, let me know in the comments below. great question I, I love telling it because it's it's crazy to me how it all came together to be honest with you is obviously I, I did run just about half the truck series season this year a little bit less than half the races and was really fortunate to do that and you know I was kind of working towards maybe running a full season this year um, I wasn't really sh sh set on what I was going to do or sure of what I was going to do I did have some amazing opportunities and this was obviously one of them that came up a little bit later I kind of was weighing out uh the options I had available and the limited funding we had, what we could go do and what my sponsors wanted to do. And ultimately this phone call came about pretty late, not not just probably a week before Homestead or so. And um, it was an incredible phone call because I didn't, it was, it was surreal, you know what I mean? Like to get a phone call from Richard Childress Racing, easily one of the most iconic race teams in the sport that helped build this sport is was surreal and it still is like talking about it is so you were all right it's probably super hard to see me right now because it's really dark in here but i just got my truck leaving the studio the only thing more fun than doing a radio interview is doing it live in studio and having it televised so i really appreciate them having me on the show it was a lot of fun uh the show is motorsports madness i was able to stay for quite a bit of time but i wish i could have stayed the entire time but unfortunately i need to get back study for finals as well as finish up some homework since um, today's the last day to submit everything for most classes. Uh, yesterday was the last day of class, and then obviously finals start tomorrow. So that was really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of an inside look on that. All right, so just walked in the door. I just got back from the radio station, and I had a surprise package sitting at the door. I may have done a little bit of Black Friday shopping and treated myself with something. So I got to open that later, though. I'll show you guys, but I got to finish this physics homework, get all that submitted. It's probably going to take me a couple hours, and I only have... Two and a half hours before it has to be submitted. So I'm going to get that done, and then I'll catch up with you guys later and close the vlog out. All right, so I'm going to open up this box I was sitting at the door uh, when I got home from the radio interview. And I want to show you guys what the box looks like, because it's actually a really cool box. It's from Browns. And let me show you what's inside. Oh, wow. So it's actually inside like a drawstring bag inside of this box which was inside of a bigger box it was just a regular brown box so I took it out of that because I figured that wasn't a big deal but I haven't opened any of this stuff yet so you can see we got another Adidas Ultra Boost box but what's inside is the coolest part first look at the Adidas Ultra Boost Terex Free Hikers which are a high top Gore-Tex 
hiking shoe. Completely water resistant and snow proof, which is the coolest part. And I needed like a winter shoe. I didn't, rather than just like having boots, obviously, to walk in snow or, or in the rain and stuff, I wanted a cool, fresh looking sneaker that I could rock in the winter time that's warm enough, but also, um, you know, can handle the conditions and get snow all over them. And in the rain, you could wear them as well because it's water so they don't just run right off. So the black and green ones, they got a little bit of army green on the heel. It's got a greenish tan sole, a lot of black on them. I like the black ones a lot, um, and then there's a lot of other sweet colorways, like there's ones that are white and they kind of have this in like a light blue, uh, but I wanted something dark that wouldn't really get as dirty and I could wear a lot, so I'm really excited about these. Alright, so it's currently midnight, I just finished all the homework, I got it all complete, thankfully, uh, submitted all that, so I'm officially done with homework and all that kind of stuff for the semester, now all I have to do is get through finals, so... That's going to be it for the day. I hope you all enjoyed the vlog. Thank you for the support as always. This is probably one of my most fun vlogs to film yet just because it's such an exciting week. And I actually had quite a bit going on today. So I hope you all enjoyed the behind the scenes look and are excited about 2020 as I am. The new uh, racing opportunity and being able to go compete in the NASCAR Xfinity Series for the best team in the industry, Richard Childress Racing. I'm exhausted, so I'm going to get to sleep once again. Thank you all for support. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed. Comment future video ideas, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.